All right, quick thing that we missed. Just just a little thing. You go check the, uh, the typewriter over here, and apparently you get a memo. I didn't look at the typewriter, but apparently there's a carbon print thing where you get combination, and there you go. It's a, it's very important. It's going to be a solution later on. All right, without further ado, we're going to resume in a second. For realsies, we are back for for part nine. I am here. I got my friend. Hello. I brought her out of retirement. <laughs> no, seriously. It, 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 it's, a, it's a temporary yeah. thing. Uh, anyways, yes, where is Dovever? She's here. So last time, I got stumped and I couldn't figure out what to do. And then I realized there's an examination room right here. We got a key. I didn't realize this is the one. You go to this door. Oh my god. Right? So don't, don't you love it when you feel so incredibly stupid for missing something so incredibly obvious? Yeah, there's nothing useful there. I mean, I'm, I missed file. I missed that one file in examination room three. But she I, creeps me the fuck out. Well, she's a pretty creepy lady. Like she looked like a mannequin right there. Oh, believe me, she does not look like a mannequin because her head is not not a mannequin mannequin like a store mannequin. Like oh, actual okay. Real life not mannequin. not the not the enemy that we encounter. No, no, not not the enemy that we encounter, but like a regular mannequin in the real world, and they're creepy as fuck. Oh, hey, remember that code? Seven three three five. Yeah, seventy three thirty five. That that's the real reason we're here. As far as I know, there's not really anything else here. So seven. Oh wait, shotgun shells. Nine, five, I take nine, it back. Seventy three thirty five. And I just went back. This is fantastic. This, this, this part has already gone off to a good start. So anyways, it's been a while. Uh, since then, I've actually been in the game. I've took notes. I have an idea of what I'm doing, but then again, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it, it's very relative to, to the situation. I might not remember every single little detail, so I might miss a couple things, but for the most part, I'm going to try to lead you down the right path. Yeah, he's been taking stuff seriously. He's been, like, making this a uh, career level with the attention that he's put into it. I, I've i done character analysis. Gun, I have major respect for you, dude, because I never did this seriously. Uh, and let's see. actually got frustrated at my quality and because I didn't really do it. Not, not the... Not the attention that it requires yeah uh, well i mean it's understandable uh, I, i've had situations like that before i mean there's times where i get like super frustrated and i just i throw everything to the side i was like no I'm, I'm done there's nothing left for me okay so remember that code yes 7335 you got it 7335 so guess what else we get to do are you ready for it what? it's the segment that i introduced last time Beat Simulator. Oh, God. Man, okay. I can't beatbox, otherwise I would be dropping the bass right now. I would. I'd be like... <laughs> See, I can't do it. I, I don't have the voice to it. We got the bobblehead nerd. We got a mannequin. Ah, uh, man. Fuck them both. I hate them. So, the problem with all this... Whoa, that was weird. That was like leg on the game's part. So, the problem with all this is the fact that we got, we got to escort Maria. I have to make sure I'm oh. saying Maria. Uh, because, see, if she dies, we die. It's game over. It's, it's Are you automatic. Serious? No. And you figure, considering, again, I don't care about spoilers. No one does. I mean, you don't, I don't. It's pretty apparent. How old is this game? If you care about spoilers, then. I, I want to say 2001, but I'm probably wrong. Well, but I have a computer. Oh, right excellent. Here. You can do the. You're the fact checker. Yes, I will be the fact checker. Okay. So. so um, it's been. I, I want to say it's at least in the double digits. Uh, it was released in 2001. You were right. Oh, 24th. holy shit. All right. So that would make it 10. Uh, let's see. 16 years? Almost 16 in September? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, there's two mannequins. Hey, look at that, everybody. Two mannequins. Everybody. So, like I said, the problem with this is, um, you got Maria. If she dies, it's game over, and that's no fun for anybody. The reason that I'm also killing all these guys is because I like to clear the hallways. You backtrack a lot in this segment. I don't, or like, well, the hospital. There's a lot of backtracking in general. Also, I think when you kill all the enemies, the music stops. 
No, it doesn't. I, I think in certain spots it does. Um, I think that's just the radio that stops. Actually, now that I think about it, you want to know something brilliant that I should have done, like, immediately? What? Actually, since I'm here. Uh, so, we got, we got a little bit of a puzzle, and I might as right. well just figure this out. So, remember that memo I said at the beginning? Yeah, I that know I it. just went through very briefly? I know it. I know the number of the box, 9598. It can't help him anymore. The button key doesn't scare me. So nobody can stop who I am. I don't know who I am. Is who I am is who I am is. Uh, so, the important thing from this memo, what you it's really need, numbers. yeah, 95, 95 98. Hey, That's that, an interesting thing, though. Who I am is who I am is who I am is. I mean, like, uh, I say that to myself every day. It, it, and actually, since we're bringing this, this brings up the whole idea of personhood, what makes a person, we can actually say that Maria, while she has consciousness, is she a person? She appears to have consciousness, I should say. Oh, I, I ask the same question, uh, my Ico parts, with the shadowy enemies all the time. It's like, do they have a consciousness? Are they sentient? Are they just some sort of thing that was conjured up by the evil mother lady? And, and here's, a, here's an argument that she isn't a person. Because if she dies, what's his name, James? Yeah. James dies. True. So. We can't figure that out. I'm, I'm just pointing this out. We can't figure this out yet. Okay. Um. Uh, so if she if she dies, James dies. Then that would consider that creates an argument that she is part of James. Yeah. Oh, guess who's back? Back again. Fuck I, your shit. I hate respawns. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think. Okay. So I think one thing about the enemies is you can kill them and then you can perma kill them. So if you don't perma kill them, like they will respawn. Or I think that I want to say that's a thing that happens. I don't know for sure. I think it depends on the difficulty level that yeah. you've chosen. Uh, it, it's not normal, so I mean so everything should be to... relatively simple. I mean they they certainly take less hits, and I'm thankful for that. I think we're all thankful for that. We don't want to do beat simulator, yo. It's a boring segment. It bogs down the part. It's all padded because it's like, ah, oh, now we gotta watch Gildan beat this monster and make James even creepier than he really is. Which let me tell you something. I, I have to say I've, I have a special place in my heart for horror games. One of the reasons why I can't play them is because of the East and the East bullshit. Yeah. That I get really tired of. Oh, it's understandable. Uh, at the same time, I'm pretty sure like th this is it. Once once I do this, I don't think they'll respawn or. I'm completely lost and I'm, I'm just making shit up to appease myself. Anyways, not the point. The point is, I wanted to go into, I think it was S3. What's it? Not, you can't include anything from the Silent Hill series, but what's your favorite horror game? Um, well this one's really good. I said you can't choose one from the Silent Hill series. Uh, I was just saying this one's really good. Also, cutscene. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna think for a second while this plays out. James. Awful lip syncing. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. And die. I gotta be honest. If if I have to um, say something, I think the new voice acting is actually better, but it it starts off room. very wonky. You should rest. You should rest. Aw, he's concerned. Next on on a very filthy so mattress. Comfy. Next to blood. Well, she says, mmm, so comfy. I'm so high. I'm gonna go look for her. For I, I gotta be honest. Wait, wait, pills really... No, Maybe. not hers. I'm pretty sure they're medication, but I gotta be honest. With Maria, I could imagine her being high all the time. Pretty much. Yeah. She's she's like I that's... Think that's... That's the point, because... Oh, yeah. James, I wanna ask Woo! you something. What if... Oh. And what if you can't find Mary? Actually, now that I think what about it, this is it's an interesting thought that the one who's personified, yeah, is, not personified, but the one who's held up in high regard is Mary. Yeah. Like, she's untouchable, like Mother Mary. Oh, like, absolutely. In fact, if you want to get down to it, she has a very saintly appeal to her. She does. I mean, I'm, I made that association also when I was playing through this on my own. Uh, but here's, the, here's the funny thing. Maria is Mary in Spanish. Yeah. 
So, what does that say? Well, I mean, here's the other thing. I mean, when you take the two characters, I mean, it's kind of like Maria is this weird parody of Mary, but I don't know if parody is really the proper word. It, she's like a weird introvert version of Mary, or she's, like she's, twisted. Um, oh, there's, there's, a, there's a word for this. You there's, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. D give me give me a sec. There's a... Uh... Oh, it's it's when you reflect two characters and you invert them. Yeah, I mean, it is getting down oh, to it. That is gonna bug the shit out of me. What is it called? Getting down to it. Here's I mean, it's the same it. thing for James and Pyramid Head. Although that that brings up a whole new topic. I'm gonna save that a little bit later. I want to apologize first off though because. In the last couple parts, I was really hung up about James's sexual frustration because that plays a lot into his character. But I feel like maybe I've been Foil. misinterpreting. Sorry. Foil. That, that's that's the name for a character that is the exact opposite. That's an inverted version of mm -hmm. the character where they take a look at the same ideas but in completely opposite ways. It's called yeah. Foil. Foil. I, that's something new, like to me. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of these health drinks. So I got like eleven. I don't need eleven. Uh, we got the roof key. I didn't even... I didn't, okay, that's where we're headed next. That phone just kind of startled me for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like all of a sudden it's, it's just... Satan. <laughs> no, no. All right, listen, listen. I played Sonic Hill 4. There's a huge segment with the phone and it, it, it's terrible. It's terrifying. Hi. My mother has saved Hi, us from that phone. How's it going? It's the... Super Is that oh. you? Oh, that might be. All right, we're going to take a brief Hello? break. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you're sorry? We're back. Awesome. We're... Sorry about that, guys. Ah, don't worry about it. I mean, I know how it works. I, I had I had peak season. It was crazy. So there is one room we can go to in the third floor. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go here because actually what we want to do, what we need to do is we have to get to the roof because we got that key. It goes to the roof. You try going to the fourth floor. Also, just, just to mention, we don't have Maria. You notice oh, that? Yeah. Yeah. We don't. Maybe. This is fortunate for everyone. This is a good part because it's not an escort mission now. It's very fortunate for everyone. She'll come back. We don't want her back, but she'll come back. Anyways, so what what we can do here is we can do two things. I figure we'll just take a look at this. It's someone's diary. It's on the floor. You know. I have an idea who wrote this, but at the same time, I'm I'm not gonna say anything because it's May 9th. Rain started. Or rain stared out the window all day peaceful here nothing to do still not allowed to go outside still raining yeah talk to the doctor a little would they have saved me if i didn't have a family to feed i know i'm pathetic weak not everyone can be strong and you know it's raining again on may why, 11th why, why why do you have a problem with the rain mary this is clearly Mary. <laughs> oh, you, you guessed it. Or at least, I, I would assume it's Mary too. The meds made me feel sick today. If I, I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyways? Because, you know, uh, drugs, they do stuff to your mind. They Yeah. It's very confusing. Uh, and it's raining again. So I, I'm guessing this is a week that it all rains. So she's just kind of in a very depressive mood so, and she's writing it down. Sounds like a typical week where we live. Well, yeah, but I mean, at the same time, I, I like to think this is trying to be therapeutic, you know, writing down your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, can it really be such a sin to run instead of fight? Basically, I, I'm pretty sure she wants to go outside and just kind of... Like, get some fresh air, but at the same time, uh, because of her illness, she can't really do that, or the doctors are worried that, you know, it's gonna have some, uh, complications. That, that's why I'm gathering from this. That's why she can't. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, 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 there you go. I'm just gonna let you read it. Oh, it's clear outside. Yeah. The doctor told me I've been released, and I've got, so. Wait, I... wait. So it went from her not being able to go outside to, you're good to go. Go home. Yeah. That's, that's odd. That, that is odd. Yeah. There's that no is, more entries. Do you know what that also signifies, though? Uh, oh, yeah, I do. If it's what I think it is, it's super depressing. Yeah. And I mean, that that's probably it. In fact, it probably leads up to later events that you'll find out in this game. Anyways, you know what I'm going to do? Block. Holy shit, you see what's coming towards us? Okay, so that was a planned. Yeah. Okay, because we that had scared to do the shit Didn't out of me. Didn't it? 
I okay, I gotta be honest. I got to this part and I knew that was happening. I didn't know that there was an in-game sprite that slowly creeps up to you while you're doing that. Yeah, that's that. bullshit. I mean, well, it's not bullshit. No, you have it to makes, do it. You have to do it. It makes sense. But god damn. Anyways, so we're here now. In fact, oh yeah, also you might want to heal because that does hurt you. It doesn't kill you, but it does hurt you quite a bit. So what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to heal and then we'll resume back here. This you want another cookie? More I would. Yes. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later. I'm getting a cookie. Cookie.